I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Do you need a new mattress for your home or RV? Brooklyn Bedding's got sizes to fit most. You get a 120 night sleep trial plus free shipping. Best of all, they're made right here in the good old US of A. In fact, Arizona. So go to <clears throat> rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin to get 25% off your purchase. All right. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me, I'm real good. It's uh, middle of April, up here on the mountain in the Concho. Um, I've got the Bigfoot out recently, my uh, 1998 uh, Class C 30-footer. Um, haven't used it a lot lately, but I got to thinking, you know, I want to take some trips. I want to use it some this summer. and. I think, I'm pretty sure, that the RV is, is solid overall. Um, the only thing I'm not so sure about is time to rotate the tires. Just a little bit of maintenance. And while I have them, y'all make sure that they get the air pressure. I checked it a couple weeks ago, but I'll make sure that they get the air pressure set perfect for it. So that way, when the uh, the uh, call of the wild, call of the road hits me. All I gotta do is get in here, turn the key. Man, it's been so long since I've been in the Bigfoot. Yeah, Tuck. I, I don't even smell. I don't even smell no, no, nobody in here. I kind of miss it, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. This thing rides good. Well, we'll keep it in good shape, and ready to go. I don't have any set plans where we're going. C can we go to Quartzsite? Tucker, it's gonna be 120 degrees down there in a little bit. Well, you got all the solar, you got the mini split and everything. It can't handle 120, buddy. But uh, there are a lot of places around Arizona that we could go. Okay, Dad, I'm with you. Wherever you go is where I go. I'll be your shadow. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. You know, there's one question, Tuck. <laughs> there's one question, Tuck, I got for you. <laughs> what is it? Why are you not on every dog food bag, a picture of you on every dog food bag in America? That's a good question and stuff. Yeah, buddy. Getting turned around this morning here at Vagabond. Windy, windy day. Flew over Felix's chair by the campfire. I have yet to to use. That's one thing about spring here is the wind. Keeps tearing up my flags. So when I bought this RV up uh, in Colorado, the guy said that it had uh, brand new tires on it. He was selling it for his father-in-law and uh, the tires did look good, but uh, they were already seven years old, eight years old. And I, I don't think he did it on purpose, but I told him, I was like, this is not the RV you promised me. You said it had new tires, not tires that look like new. So he took a thousand dollars off the sale price of the RV because um, I told him that's what a new set of tires would cost I went to Big O Tires and got them they got a lifetime warranty balance not, not warranty 
they don't have that, but they have lifetime uh, balance and rotation. And that's good in any town that's got a, a big old tire. That's where we're going to go. But when you're buying an RV and the tires are date coated out, and I'm going to show you today. I've showed you before, but we've got a lot of new people here on the channel. If those tires are over five or six years old, you don't want to travel on them on an RV. Maybe you could push it on a personal vehicle if you had to. You know, the ones that I got on Littlefoot, this is Bigfoot. My van, my 1999 Ford van is Littlefoot or Van Force One. Um, those tires are, I found a receipt. They have less than 5,000 miles on them, but they're five years old. Um, I'm going to run them for a minute. But on a big heavy vehicle like this Bigfoot here, I don't know how many tons this thing is, but she's she's heavy duty on that 450 Econoline chassis. Uh, anyway, when you're buying an RV and the tires uh, are questionable, the uh, the owner or the seller is not responsible for uh, putting new tires on the RV. But I think half a set. If they're date coded out, if the tires are too old, I think the owner should either adjust his price for half a set of tires or put a new set on and then add the extra cost, half the cost back into his purchase price. That's just my two cents. Before we go to the tire shop, now I have run these Coopers, these Cooper Discoveries. I think they're HT3s. Yeah, I run these on my. Uh, well, I run them on Van Diesel. I ran them on my shuttle bus named Bob. Uh, I ran these on the BT Cruiser. I have great, great service out of these, and I think this set of tires ended up costing me around eleven hundred dollars. But here's the date code. So, these tires were manufactured the 25th week of 2020. So, excuse my hand there, cut myself on some glass. So, always check your date codes. Always know how old your tires are. And when you buy new tires, insist on getting a date code close as you can to the install date on your RV. Uh, you know, what if you have to sell it later? You know, I know the tires probably don't expire. They're probably sitting in a dark warehouse somewhere. But there's a place here in town that won't even balance them or work on them at all if your tires are over five years old. You don't want to run into that when you're traveling on the road. So I've got 71,700 miles on the Bigfoot now on this E450 chassis. You know, when I'm driving, it very much feels like Littlefoot. The Littlefoot is an E150 chassis, but it's a very soft suspension. Even though this is an E450, it's so heavy, it feels like soft suspension. But, uh, it sure does ride good, especially those airbags back in the back. I've got one that holds air real good, and I've got another that I have to pump up daily. Not too big a deal. I see Martini has assumed the position. We're out of here. Well, just my luck. Their main tire guy, he's sick today. He said, I got a I got one guy that's pretty good and two newbies. He said it's gonna take two hours to rotate your tires. But I'm here at Sholo with the big O tire. They're getting started. I just realized I forgot to shave before I went on air, before I went on video. I could at least do that while they're changing the tires. You know, stay pretty for TV and all. Well, it is a good thing 
Then I just had these tires checked out. I showed you the date codes, right? I didn't see this. I, uh, I shot a little video. Um, I'm going to show it to you right here. Um, my sidewalls are cracking along a factory seam. I didn't see it. Um, I'm going to have to get in touch on, on three tires. They found it on three different tires. These tires have uh, six, 7,000 miles on them. They're had them on the truck on the RV for exactly two years. Um, the tires are warranted. So uh, the install guys, the install manager, everybody here says they need to be replaced. So let's see if uh, Cooper's a do right kind of company. And I personally feel if they're made from the same batch and I got three that did it, then the other three won't be too far off. I have kept the proper tire pressure. Um, I mean, they've been in the sun, but nothing unusual. So, <clears throat> maybe I won't have to fight. Maybe Cooper's going to be a do-right company. I've promoted the Cooper tires on my channel for a long time. Uh, so I'll let you know. Huh. That's why we got to keep the tires checked. I got an eye for such things, and I didn't see that. I didn't see it. I spent well over, I got to check my receipt, but I think I spent $1,100 on this uh, set of six tires. But that's going to make today's video. I wish I could end it on a more positive note. Just keeping it real here on the Camper Van Kevin channel. So I'm going to end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. Go check your tires. Go look close, real close. Check those date codes. Make sure you keep the right air pressure in it. Nothing else will help you get better gas mileage. Okay, gotta go. Bye from Sholo, Arizona. Hey, so you thought the video was over, right? I did too. Call the customer service number for Cooper. Got in touch with a the guy there. Um, told me to drive back to the dealer, to the tire place, tire dealer, and let them talk to the tire dealer. That's what we did. Well, guess what? Not only are they going to fix, replace the three tires that are cracked, they're replacing all six. No cost to me, no charge. I didn't have to fuss, didn't have to fight. Customer service so far at Cooper. I mean, the tires aren't the tires are not on here yet, but by the time you see this video, they will be. So there's that. See you next video. Bye.